From the most aggressive shark in the world to an ancient terror you're probably glad is gone, here are eight of the biggest sharks ever. Number 8. Mega Mouth Shark This shark was discovered by accident in 1976 when it was caught by the U.S. Navy after it got stuck in some cables around Hawaii. These sharks are able to grow to up to 17 feet long. In fact, due to how it was caught and the fact that megamouth sharks aren't seen very often, we have very little proof of just how many there are out there. There have been about 100 reported sightings so far, but what we do know about the species is quite interesting. For example, the megamouth shark is one of three species of shark that aren't full-on meat eaters. The shark actually prefers to eat plankton of all things, so it's definitely breaking stereotypes. Let's talk teeth. The megamouth shark actually has 50 rows of teeth, and in the lower jaw they can have 75 rows of teeth, and yet they're barely used because of what they eat. Speaking of which, when the megamouth shark hunts for food like plankton and krill, it'll actually swim vertically to match their movements. It's also believed its lips are bioluminescent to attract prey in the deep sea. It's still unclear where the megamouth shark definitively lives, though it has been seen in the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, and pretty much everywhere. During the day, the shark will go down to the deeper water searching for plankton, and then at night, it will rise to the surface. And now for number 7. But first, can you guess which shark is considered the most dangerous species in the world? Write your answer in the comments below. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe, we'd love to have you. Number 7. Tiger Shark this is one of the most aggressive sharks in the water today, and yes, it is one of the biggest. Their average size is about 10 to 14 feet, but some large specimens can measure up to 20 feet long. The tiger shark is known for its fierceness, aggressiveness, and its genetic programming to attack. The tiger shark is known as one of the most dangerous sharks in the world, and with good reason. It's a full-on predator with heightened senses that it uses at peak efficiency to ensure that it catches its prey. According to the International Shark Attack file, the tiger shark is number two behind the great white shark in the number of reported attacks on humans. Adding to the frightening factor of the creature, the tiger shark has been seen 900 meters below sea level, but also in very shallow waters off the coast. It can live in both warm and cool waters, making it a global predator, and it has a huge advantage as the oceans are getting warmer and we might be seeing more and more of them. The tiger shark really doesn't have a defined menu because it will eat just about anything that moves – fish, seals, whales, sharks, and of course humans. It's even been known to attack oil barrels. They are extremely curious and love to take a bite to try new things. They have even been found with tires and license plates in their stomachs. Every year in Hawaii, around four tiger shark attacks on humans are recorded, and more often than not, attacks are fatal. So if you're swimming and you see a tiger shark, do not let it out of your sight, and be ready for a scrap should it come near you. Just remember, go for the eyes. Number 6. Hammerhead Shark Easily one of the most recognizable animals in the world, the hammerhead shark can grow to up to 20 feet long. Some of the other features that the hammerhead shark has might just surprise you. For example, its eyes are able to see in perfect 360 degree capability, which means it's virtually impossible to get the jump on this shark. Also, the females of this species don't need a male to reproduce. In 2001, a bonnet head was born in an aquarium that caught everyone by surprise. Testing confirmed the baby had no paternal DNA and that the mother had reproduced by fertilizing her own egg. It was the first time this was ever documented in a shark. The hammerhead shark is also a shark species that can be found all over the world. This is because they like warm water temperatures, so it's basically free to go just about anywhere. It can even be found in the mouths of rivers, so be careful not to get caught by surprise. Hammerheads like to be close to the surface, and they don't like to be down any deeper than 60 feet, which is why they're known as terrors to anything within that range. If they find a stingray on the ocean floor, they'll pin it down and take a bite out of it. They'll also actually attack and eat other sharks should they need to, or want to. Heck, they'll even eat their own species. Other species of hammerheads are known for forming small schools to be more efficient at hunting. They'll gather together during migration and mating season and then disperse afterwards. Number 5. The Greenland Shark If you've never heard of the Greenland Shark, don't worry, there is probably a reason for that. 
This very unique species of shark likes the northern waters of the world. You'll find it in the tips of the Atlantic Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, and the White Sea. And even if you go there, you'll probably never see one. Why? Because they live deep, deep down in the water. Greenland sharks are famous for living in some of the deepest and coldest waters around and can go as far as 7,200 feet below sea level. Apparently, it really likes it there. That's why it's not all that famous. In fact, the first one that was caught was in 2013. The biggest one reportedly ever seen was about 23 feet long, so there are probably even bigger ones hanging out in the depths. The Greenland shark is actually the longest living vertebrate in the world. After capturing and carbon dating some of the species, scientists were stunned to find that the shark has a minimum life expectancy of about 120 years. What's the maximum? Well, by their best guess, it's about 500 years, if not more. This is very significant as it beats the previous record holder by a scale of over 2 to 1, and it's even changing how scientists think about deep sea creatures. Number 4. Great White Shark You might be surprised that one of the most legendary sharks in all of existence is only number 4. But hey, if we're talking size, the Great White Shark isn't the biggest, but it might be the most fearsome. What makes the great white shark so intimidating to many, besides their bad rap from Jaws, is their hunting skills. The great white shark has been known to burst out of the water with incredible speed, grab its foe, and then slam back down into the water to ensure its prey is dead on impact. Plus, their speed underwater is impressive, and due to their color, they can camouflage with the water itself or their environment to an extent to ensure that its prey doesn't see it coming. Then naturally, there's its bite strength. If you get caught in a great white's jaws, you're in serious trouble and you only have seconds to break free before you're gone. Even if it takes a bite and spits you out, it's probably too late. And for those of you who guessed, the great white shark is responsible for the greatest number of fatal attacks on humans. Tiger sharks are the second deadliest and bull sharks are third. However, many experts consider bull sharks to be the most dangerous species as a whole. Bull shark attacks are estimated to be much higher, but people misidentify the type of shark that attacked them in the heat of the moment. Size varies between great whites, especially between males and females. Females are around 15 to 21 feet long, and males are about 11 to 13 feet. However, just earlier this year, ocean divers met the world's biggest great white shark. Off the coast of Mexico, divers were in a cage trying to attract sharks. Now known as Deep Blue, this great white was 22 feet long and was pretty calm swimming around the cage. So calm, in fact, that a diver reached out and touched her fin. Number 3. The Basking Shark Like the Megamouth Shark, not all sharks are scary predators. The Basking Shark is a very large shark with a rather docile personality and small-time eating habits. Size-wise, the Basking Shark can vary, with reports saying that it can reach up to 44 feet in length. The average size is about 22 to 29 feet, which is also not too shabby. This is the second largest shark known to exist today. This gentle giant looks like it could swallow a whole bus, but it is not an active predator and poses no threats to humans. It only eats plankton and swims with its mouth open to get huge gulps, then uses filtration in its gills to get what it needs. It can filter as much as 2,000 tons of water every hour. Basking sharks are also one of the few shark species that lives in groups, with their schools sometimes reaching up to 100 members. That's a lot of sharks. These schools stick together and migrate during the seasonal changes and can be seen swimming in single file. They sometimes separate into groups of males and females as they travel from northern coastal waters to the deep southern seas. Basking sharks have no problem going into shallow waters or to the very depths of the ocean floor, and because of their non-aggressive nature, they can be kind to humans. However, they swim very slowly, and from a distance they look like great whites, so they've been prime targets for human fishermen and hunters. They were accused of getting in the way of commercial fishing, and their meat and oil has been sold for centuries. More recently, the basking shark has been placed under protection by many countries because their numbers are in serious decline. Number 2. The Megalodon in the ancient world, there were many predators, and many were ones we should be thankful are now extinct. One of the ones we should put into that category was the Megalodon. This massive shark was indeed real, despite certain tales that it wasn't, and it was one of the most frightening things ever found in the ocean. Just in terms of size alone, there is some debate as to how big these things actually got. 
a general consensus after years of study seems to narrow down the range from 50 to 60 feet, though many do believe that these beasts could have gotten even bigger, with one theory stating that they could have gotten to 90 feet at one point in time. Either way you look at it though, this shark was huge. Even lowballing their size to 60 feet, that's double what a great white shark could be. Any way you look at it, the megalodon was a fierce and aggressive predator. In fact, it's said that during its final days on Earth, it would actually attack and eat other megalodons just so that it could get enough food. Cannibalism was not really a problem. There is some speculation that the megalodon is still out there lurking. The Discovery Channel even did a special on the possibility of the megalodon hiding in deeper waters. However, until hard evidence appears, we should be grateful it no longer exists. Number 1. The Whale Shark now, while it's true that the megalodon is the biggest shark of the ancient world, when it comes to the biggest shark in the world today, that title goes to the whale shark. There's a reason it's called the biggest fish in the world, as they've been recorded as growing up to 66 feet in length, and they weigh a massive 25 tons. That's 50,000 pounds. To get some perspective, a whale shark can be as wide as a basketball court. This shark can be found in oceans all over the world, from the shore to the open ocean. Researchers have also documented this species thousands of feet below the surface. It eagerly moves around, rarely staying in one spot for too long. This has earned them the title of being pretty cosmopolitan. Another interesting thing about the whale shark is that unlike other sharks, it prefers to be near the surface, which is why it often gets spotted. The whale shark is also considered a gentle giant, and it eats only small fish and plankton. Like the basking shark, it'll just swim with its mouth open and catch whatever goes in. It will hunt if it can't get enough food this way, but it's perfectly fine with taking what it can get. They are also commercially fished in numerous locations, mostly in Asia, because their meat, fins, and oils are highly valued. A whale shark pectoral fin can sell for up to $20,000. An entire whale shark can be worth over a quarter of a million dollars per shark. Thanks for watching! Which shark is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below! Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you soon! Bye!